When I came up at the end of the dive, finished, instead of coming up into open water, bang my head. But that's strange. It was a big iceberg. I thought, oh, we're in trouble. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, the Arctic is close. It's this beautiful, wild, white wilderness. People live there, it's not like Antarctica. In a day, you can be in the Arctic. Diving in the Arctic is an amazing experience. Not many people do it. And my first dives in the Arctic were as part of a project to explain to people that the Arctic ice was changing fast. In fact, scientists are telling us that by 2040, which isn't far away, the summer ice will be gone. The first thing it changes is the albedo effect, the reflective effect, because ice is very reflective, so it reflects the sun's heat. But as soon as it begins to melt, you've got that darker water, it absorbs the heat, so it begins a sort of feedback loop which gets warmer and warmer, and that's happening now. That I was swimming around looking for a piece of science equipment, and unbeknownst to me, an enormous iceberg broke away from the pack and rolled over my position. I was in deep water and had no idea, and it was a big iceberg. The world was just a very complex ice ceiling, and we went up, and then, ah, there's light, and then banged our heads. And the shape of that iceberg, it was about the size of a very big city park. And where we'd popped out was a big incut. And if we hadn't luckily bumped into that incut, we'd still be there today. If we can't protect the world itself from our efforts, our lives as we know them are gone. And the Arctic is a great place to tell that story because it's definable. The changes are very visible, and it really is the sort of canary in the coal mine. When we see changes in the Arctic, we know it affects us. What happens in the Arctic happens here. And of course, it's the right thing to do.